perusing the Facebook forums, I saw a few questions regarding trains within the mission editor. Anyone have anything like trains for dummies? So, welcome to another tutorial, DCS Trains 101 for Dummies. Let's get to it. Trains are like most other units, but with one specific difference. You'll start by selecting your map and setting the coalitions, like with any other setup. For trains, you'll need to locate the thick, solid black track, indicating usable rail track. Next, select ground units, place it near the ground, and then click type, setting it to on railroad to ensure it attaches to the track. Name it, and select a country for the coalition you want it to represent. Set a waypoint or two, ensuring that the routes are as desired. Keep in mind that by simply placing the train icon, you still won't have any units. Go to the box located in the bottom section beside the waypoints and advanced options titled Wagons. You'll have two drop down boxes to choose from, one being locomotives and the second below that being for cargo. First, start by adding your locomotive by selecting one from the drop down and then clicking the associated add. Next, select as many rail cars or cargo options as you like by using the drop down option and then the associated add. You're able to move the items by using the arrows at the side, either up or down. And while the add buttons are only used for either the locomotive or their respective cars, the delete button will remove either by selecting it. When setting up the train list, you'll have several locomotives and rail cars to choose from. An electric locomotive, VL80, the DRG Class 86, ES44AH, and the locomotive CME3T. For the cars, you're going to have a few, starting with the DR50 ton flat wagon, the German covered wagon G10, tank cart Trinity, well, Carn SC, I don't know where they found these names, the box cart Trinity, a coach flatbed, a coach for passengers, coach A tank blue, coach for open cargo, coach for cargo, and coach A tank yellow. Finally, with the uh, German tank wagon, bring up the rear. As with many of the other objects and statics, trains may be used to develop general traffic patterns or as background, bringing the map to life. Or they may be used more directly in order to achieve mission objectives as targets or to move resources between bases using scripts. Whatever your ultimate endgame is, experiment and play with the settings, the train compositions, and the available triggers. The mission editor is full of possibilities and wide range of units and assets really speaks to the sandbox nature of the mission building within DCS. Have fun and happy hunting.